all troubles come to an end when the ego dies a boat may stay in water but water should not stay in boat a spiritual aspirant may live in the world but the world should not live within him if you meditate on your ideal you will acquire its nature if you think of god day and night you will acquire the nature of god spirituality automatically leads to humility when a flower develops into a fruit the petals drop off on its own when one becomes spiritual the ego vanishes gradually on its own there are three kinds of love unselfish mutual and selfish the unselfish love is of the highest kind the lover only minds the welfare of the beloved and does not care for his own sufferings in mutual love the lover not only wants the happiness of his beloved but has an eye towards his own happiness also it is middling the selfish love is the lowest it only looks towards its own happiness no matter whether the beloved suffers sugar and sand may be mixed together but the ant rejects the sand and goes off with the sugar grain so pious men lift the good from the bad the young bamboo can be easily bent but the full grown bamboo breaks when it is bent with force it is easy to bend the young heart towards god but the untrained heart of the old escapes the hold whenever it is so drawn bondage and liberation are of the mind alone what is the use of merely listening to lectures the real thing is practice once a person has faith he has achieved everything